Good morning, what's going on fellas? How y'all doing? Um doing a quick video, uh should probably be no one ten minutes, um, on self-tying bow ties. Uh one of my friends said you should do a video for it. And I said, you know what, that that's a great idea. Um, you know, the reason I wanted to start learning how to tie bow ties was because I started seeing that there was so much variety in designs and styles of bow ties, but particularly um, in the self-tying ties, like you had to tie them. You know, you have a lot of good-looking pre-tied bow ties um, and clip-ons, but, you know, the variety and the styles aren't as um, vast. So I so, said, you know what, let me teach myself how to tie bow tie. First things first. All right. You want to make sure that one end hangs longer than the other, right? That's the first step. As you can see, this end is longer. You know, not too much, not too crazy. Probably hangs about, mm, maybe about two inches longer than the other side. Next thing you wanna do, hold them, take the longer side, place it over the shorter side. Now bring the longer side underneath. And tighten to the button of your neck collar, right? Next, being that I have my hand on the shorter side, all I'm gonna do is a simple maneuver, there's nothing fancy. I'm just gonna form the base or the mold of the bow tie. I'm gonna take this and just kind of fold it over. That little knot that we made at the base at the collar. Once again, it's nothing serious. Yeah, you know, I have my thumb behind it, if you know, and I can just put it just like that. So I have that, right? Next, take the long side, bring it over and down the middle. All right? You can kind of hold that right there. That is going to form the preliminaries that you need to have. You always need to have two loops and two tails. There's going to be a front loop and a front tail, a back loop and a back tail. Um, I mean, there's going to be a front tail and a back loop and the other side will be um, a back loop and front tail. Just want to be on the other side of the other, right? So now you can see by doing that, I formed a tail and I also formed a loop by doing that. That's some maneuver. Now, take the long side and bring it behind, behind, right? As you're bringing it behind, I want you to have your pointer finger, right? So I have it, I'm, I'm holding it like this. My pointer finger is here, my thumb is here. As you bring it behind, you want to feel a little bit behind um, that fold over. Remember I told you I said just we're gonna make a little fold over. As you bring this, as you bring this long side to the back, you're gonna be forming a loop in the back. You're going to take your pointer finger and push that tie through the loop. All right, you're gonna keep pushing. And it's gonna be coming out the other end. So I'm pushing and I'm pushing and I'm pushing. You see my pointer finger. As you can see that and I feel that, I'll just try and help facilitate by pulling it through, right? So I'm pulling it through, pulling it through, pulling it through, and you'll end up pulling the back loop. Aha, I found it. Now I'm able to put my finger through it, see? So now I got the back loop right here. Good, I've locked that in. So now you just want to kind of straighten out the back loop because it came through that small little hole and it's kind of scratch. So now I've got that straightened away. You can kind of, as you do that, you'll see that you have that back tail that you formed also. So I have my back loop, my front tail, that's on my right side, and I have my front loop right here that I can put my finger down 
right? I have my front loop on this side, and I have my back tail right here. Now, what I'm going to do, that's just that. I didn't even really get into the finessing it yet. Now, the way you want to finesse it and, you know, swag it out, however you want to, you know, call it, um, you're going to be doing a constant um, readjustment. So you're going to constantly readjust by pulling in opposite directions. So the first thing you want to do is I want to grab my front loop totally. So it's like I'm pinching the front loop. I want to pinch my back loop and I'm going to slowly pull them in opposite directions like um, like I'm going to the end of my shoulders slowly and it's going to tighten the tie right now you don't want to pull them too fast you don't want to pull it too far because then you'll end up pulling the tail through the loop and you'll end up undoing the tie so that's kind of tight now what you want to do now is you see that it's kind of like, whoa, you got too much loop on this side, too little tail. You have too much loop on this side, too little bit of tail. No problem. Just pull a little bit of the tail back, right? Same thing with the front. Pull a little bit of the tail back. And this is going to be when you start getting it real tight because the knot hasn't forgotten its tightness yet. Um, so you do that, and that gives you more leeway to pull on the loops again. So you're gonna go, once again, you're gonna pinch your back loop, pinch your front loop, pull out, pull outwardly. Boom, now it's getting real tight. Boom, that's good, right there, secure. It's secure, I mean, it's secure right there. Now all you do is take your tails and slowly pull them to try and match the length of your loops. Because you can see the loop is all the way out here, the tail is shorter. The loop is all the way out here, the tail is shorter. So now I'm gonna pull my tail slightly over there, so that's in front. And I'm gonna pull my tail in the back slightly in the back so that it's about the same length. All right? Now, what you can do, you may feel comfortable with that being that. I like mine very tight, right? So I'll go back and pull my, pinch my loops again, pinch my loops again, front, uh, back loop, front loop, pull again, outwardly, make sure it's real tight, like it's tight. And then take my tails one more time, Make sure they're good. Once you see that and feel that, that's good. That's gold. That's good as gold right there. That's a good tie. Now, only thing left to do, take both of them, both sides, push them forward. And this is just so you can bring down the collar, right? Bring your collar down. Somebody's coming to my door. And then spread it back out. Adjust and flank as you see fit. Right? Got your pocket handkerchief. You know, and that's another thing. Sometimes they have some very good sets of, you know, your, your, your pocket handkerchiefs. Um, you know, flag that. Have it which way you want to. You know, some people get really exquisite and folded in all types of um, like a venetian blind or whatever but um you know just flag that and, you know and that's it and it's really just a matter of uh reshaping and uh, you know reconfiguring it and readjusting it so that's that i think that's like nine minutes and some change um you can rewind it back you could do it in slow-mo once again the biggest thing is following your back loop and front tail and your front loop and back tail you always tighten as you pull on opposite ends and when you bring that long tail down the center and you bring in the back you want to make sure you find that loop and you want to push
to tie through that little loop in the back and help bring it through with your finger. And that's it. Peace.